Hi guys, me Shane Twin Twin here, and I'm back with a new theory regarding the Ninjago Reimagined shorts. In my opinion, Golden Legend was the most misunderstood Ninjago Reimagined short. Nobody really understand it because there were no actual clues that could reveal what it actually meant. But I think I might have found a sense to it, and that will explain it in this video. But for doing that, we must see a show that happens much time after this one, which is Golden Hour. The first thing that caught my eye was a scene of Wu and the Time Twins traveling through time using the energy of their reversal blade. So they should be traveling through past, which happened most of the times. But I, in this case, observe this scene in which they get in for different moments of Ninjago. And they also get into a seabound scene, which was definitely supposed to be in the future, not in the past, so that you can access it with their energy of the reversal blade. I personally thought that Wu and the Uwa Chronics and Wu travel to the future, and be that happened because of the time portal which got them somewhere. But that didn't happen because of that. That happened because of Wu getting hit, getting involved in the mechanics of the of the Iron Doom, creating a reversal time paradox. Simply, this paradox basically means that Wu brought a reversal energy into the natural course of time making time a circle and time travel possible. The fact that gravity exists in Ninjago proves that the laws of physics apply to the Ninjago universe. Not all of them, but partially do. So that means that time do apply, and that the, confronta the confrontation between Wu and the Time Twins happened after the after the time twins build the iron doom and travel in time so the fact that Wu created a paradox after the creation of the iron doom proves that the paradox allows the time twins in the first place to travel for time using this machine this is a possibility that could have happened but the change of appearance of the ninja still remains a mystery what do you think about that was this uh, appearance of the ninjas in the past now let me explain what implication this has in the Ninjago Reimagined Golden, Golden Legend short. My theory is that the dragon that defeated the ninjas was the final villain of the show, being the balance itself and the master of golden power. And it defeating the villains and conquering after Ninjago makes the first Ninjutsu master from the past to uh, return in the future and defeat the dragon because of the time paradox which i've discovered before this could very well not be true but it could also be true comment down below if you, if you think that this may be true and comment your opinion on why the ninja's, opinion, uh, why the ninja's appearances change thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video bye